Hey, Joe here, and welcome to the fifth session and second series of the five minute guides in the Archi Archimate Modeling Toolkit. The session looks at using Archi as an enterprise architectural repository. The Archi tool has the potential to be used as a powerful and incremental architectural repository, but to do so requires discipline and agreed structures. Considering one of the key tenets of enterprise architecture function is to understand the complexity and assess the impact of changes to the enterprise landscape, the repository needs to reflect the current interim and target states. The ever-changing nature of enterprise architecture means that the repository needs to have regular updates, large or small, and should not be treated in a waterfall approach. A well-informed repository should also be able to inform initial designs or ideas and be updated on the final solution implementations or minor changes along the way. It may seem obvious, but if you have more than one person updating the repository, there needs to be a common approach and framework. Key considerations may include Agree how you intend to use elements. For example, define service of a function, where a service may be what is provided and a function is how it is provided. Set the house rules to the repository. Identify quality checks, vetting and rules of update. Secure your repository integrity and keep regular backups and version controls. Don't try and build the whole repository in one go. It needs to be built incrementally and will often need to work alongside current budgets. It almost goes without saying but regular and quality updates will keep it well tuned and enable a big picture and detailed view of the entire enterprise. A simple, and I found an effective way to organize complex models is to create a folder for each specific element, which enables easy detection of duplicates. We can see here, suppliers is duplicated across two views, business on a page, and CRM business architecture, which is not what we want. This folder structure also enables easy detection of new elements that have been created, as they will default to the standard folders until they are moved into the element specific folder. There are many situations where the repository or model information needs to be extracted for analysis or communication in a different medium. Archie provides a handy feature to extract the elements to a CSV file. Sometimes I've used this feature to spell check the model in a spreadsheet and then import the same extract back to the model with the updated typing corrections. The extract provides three files and gives an indication of the underlying Archie data model. The elements file has four columns, ID, type, name, documentation where the ID is system generated unless you have specified an ID on your initial upload. And of course, it's never wise to change system generated IDs as these could corrupt your model. The relations file has a system generated ID with a relation type, name, documentation, source and target, where the source and target refer back to the corresponding element ID. In this case, we can see the ERP system element ID match. The properties file has a key value pair structure where the ID refers back to the element ID. Key as a field name and value as the value assigned. We can see the ERP system ID linked here to show the properties assigned to it. The model can also be migrated to other Archimate related tools and can include the folder structure that we are using in our example. In summary, Archi provides three file exchanges, Archi to Archi for merging models, CSV to from Archi, and the Open Exchange XML file to or from Archi and other Archimate tools. And finally, you could make your repository available through a company's intranet by using the Archi HTML report feature. The report reflects the same structure as the model, and include the documentation, field, properties, elements and relations, etc. So that concludes our session. We've seen that we can use Archie to build up powerful, flexible and informative enterprise architectural repositories. 
that can be built out incrementally. I hope you got some value out of this and it's helped you fast track your understanding of Archie and the Archimate framework. Once again, thank you for your time.